In this tutorial, I'm going to uh, show you how to model this kind of lamp, the lampshade that has all these uh, perforations inside. It's not going to be exactly the same, but I'm just, I just want to show you the concept behind it and how you can do it. So uh, first thing we want to do is we want to create uh, some uh, curves. Uh, we're creating curves uh, approximately, so it's not really important the size of the curve specifically. Uh, it's important later to, to adjust them as we want. So I'm just approximately here changing the height. And now I'm going to scale this one up. This one I'm going to scale down. Something like this. And now, now I'm going to go to Grasshopper. And I already made a definition here. So I just want to show you the process, like um, what it does. So let me just go back to the viewport settings and change the the view so that you can actually see while I'm showing you the grasshopper here. So, so these are uh, the three curves we made and um, the component for curves is just curve. You just type curve and this is the element that you get. I already made all of this. So I'm just going to select now the, the curves from the viewport. I'm going to uh, go right click set one curve and place this one and now it becomes green which means that it's already selected from grasshopper then i'm going to select the other one and the third one so now i have all these three curves and the next component we are going to use is loft so what loft does is basically loft connects uh, all these curves together so this is what we got uh, it's important to know that you need to go to the loft options and go to straight because usually it's uh, normal and it looks like this and this is not what we want. So you want to go to loft options, normal and then go to straight and commit changes. So the next thing is to actually, because now this is, uh, it's called wrap in uh, Grasshopper and we want to actually uh, deconstruct it to faces, edges and vertices. So there's this component that's called deconstruct wrap, which we use on this loft command. And then once we have that, we actually now have the, uh, the faces, uh, the edges and the vertices. Uh, in order to see the information, you can use the panel command and then just go like this and then you will see what's uh, the component uh, consists of. Uh, here is like the edges and here's the vertices and locations of them. So this is just a panel is very a useful command if you want to uh, just have a better understanding on what, what's the information or the data that you have. Uh, now let's move on. So I'm gonna hide this as well. I'm gonna hide this. So we're just gonna move on and uh, uh, through the definition. So now what I did is because there is uh, here two untrimmed surfaces. So they are represented by these numbers zero and one. So what I did here is I used the element list item and I wanted to select this first surface, which is this upper one. So that's why I used a uh, list item to select the top one. And it, uh, this is the index that's showing it's zero, as you can see there. Or I can just type zero, it doesn't matter, it's the same. So let's just see. So by, by having here zero and here one, I'm actually saying, okay, so this information from here is uh, two untrimmed surfaces. And this is the first one, this is the second one. So I'm going to just show you now, I'm gonna hide this. So, so this is what's visible, it's zero. And if I change this to one, it will actually uh, show the bottom one. You see, so it's zero and one. So now I just, uh, I just like, so I divided, this is the, the top one and this is the bottom one. So we have them separate. The next thing is to, uh, to use uh, 
this item like to to have it as a surface so i just uh, use the command surface here and i use the reparameterize option because this is important if you want to uh, start doing something with that geometry uh, to like have a fresh start so what i did here is i'm gonna hide this for now just to show you the concept so uh, i actually wanted to divide these surfaces multiple parts and then i wanted to uh, actually say okay I divided the surface and now I want to uh, take out some some elements of that surface so uh, I'm just gonna show you now so this is the that surface and this is the, the divided surface so as you can see here I have the main because the main is the uh, information that the component needs to know uh, how many uh, in how many parts you want to divide something so uh, I used uh, divide domain uh, command here uh, I used the domain as this surface as this is the base of the surface and then I divided in 250 uh, uh, as, as uh, 250 parts so this means that um, uh, in this direction it has 250 divisions and in this direction it has only one division which is like like the whole thing here if I move this to two you will see that it has two divisions now one two I can also change it to ten doesn't matter it's gonna change to ten so in this case I need one so I'm gonna keep it as one and let's move on so now we divided the surface into all these elements and this is like uh, if if I if I ch see the panel now, this will be like a lot of untrimmed surfaces. Each each one of these is a separate surface. So uh, what I want to do now is I want to keep I want to delete every second one. So for, in order to do this, I'm gonna use a command that's called call pattern or call. And what this does is it's giving me a pattern of uh, of op option of uh, for example, turning every second one off or turning every third one off. And in, in order to do this, I'm using the merge command with toggles through and false. So this means that uh, this is true, this is false. This is true, this is false. This is true, this is false. And by having this information, uh, I'm gonna get this result. So, so one is true, one is false. One is true, one is false. That's the result we get. And this is what you want and now I'm just gonna so so the process is completely the same for the second for the second uh, uh, for the bottom part I'm just gonna show you the the final uh, so so this is what you get we get bottom ones and top ones and now uh, let's uh, let's actually merge them uh, and we are gonna just simply use merge command I'm gonna hide them and this is the the geometry that we were searching for so um, a good thing about this is that you can actually uh, move this line this curve or change it or scale it and the geometry will scale on its own you don't need to do anything separately like you just change the the shape you want and it will change everything for you so let's say that I'm happy with the, with this result and now I want to render this or I want to do something else with it. I'm gonna go right click here and go to bake. I'm gonna put it on some layer, doesn't matter. And I'm gonna say to group it, yes. Now I'm gonna just uh, exit the grasshopper. And this is my result. I have perfectly uh, perfect surfaces for, for my render. And now I'm just gonna uh, let's move it to some other layer because it's not very visible here like so so now uh, just for the sake of it I'm just gonna uh, model a couple of more things here I want to create some kind of uh, edge here on the top uh, maybe I want to create the edge at the bottom as well just to have something to hold it and 
I'm gonna give it some thickness offset surface I'm gonna flip it solid say yes distance 0 0.1 and there we go um, then I'm going to I should do the same here offset flip 0 0.5 have it and now uh, let's create the actual lamp so I'm gonna go to the front view I'm going to uh, draw some lines here like this I'm just going to approximately made make some some sphere And let's say that this will be our lamp. Let's resize it a little bit. I'm gonna pipe this pipe. And now I have the, uh, the thickness. I'm going to actually cut this in half. doesn't need to be half can be like this so I'm going to split it boolean split and I'm just gonna change the shape a little bit to have some kind of holder for the lamp this is not perfect I'm just trying to uh, have something for the sake of having a good geometry there so let's say that this is our lamp which is not very nice but whatever so now let's um let's see what we got at the end uh it's not straight so let's make it let's make it in the center like so that will do it for now for the sake of the video I might just extend this a little bit and uh, let's see how it looks like in the render so this is our final result uh, this is the render we got uh, hope you like the video and please subscribe and share